Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Adolf Kramer and Richard Rete. This game was played in Gießen, Germany, in 1928. Adolf Kramer had white pieces and he started with e4. Richard Rete played knight to f6. Rete played the Alechin defense. Why to move? Knight to c3 defending the pawn. e5 is the most played move. Knight to c3, d5, e takes on d5, knight takes on d5, white to move. Bishop to e2 was played. Bishop to c4 is the most played move nowadays. Bishop to e2, e5, and now bishop to f3. This is the move that Ferdinand Kramer prepared specially for Reti. A surprise move. Bishop to e6, knight on g to e2, knight to c6, d3. Although Reti was not familiar with this opening, he continued with the logical moves. Bishop to c5, knight to e4, black to move. This is a very important moment of the game. Black to move and to play the strongest move. Bishop to e7, controlling g5 square. Perhaps bishop to b6 was expected. It's not a bad move, but you will see that bishop to e7 is a pretty good move. Bishop to e7, c3, and Reti, castled kingside. Queen to c2, black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Reti played f5, attacking the knight. And now you can see that bishop on e7 is preventing knight to g5. Knight from 4 to g3, black to move. And to play. A brilliant move. What would you do? Richard Reti shocked his opponent with this move. Knight on d to b4. Sacrificing the knight. In shock, in unbelief, Ferdinand Kramer wanted to see if his opponent knew what he was doing. c takes on b4. Knight takes on b4. Attacking the queen. Queen to d1. Knight takes on d3 check for a sacrificed piece. Black has two pawns plus the attack. King to f1. How would you continue now? The best move for black is e4. And the bishop is trapped. Rook to g1. Of course, Kramer considered bishop to h5 and didn't like g6. Rook to g1, black, play the move, and white resigned, and the move is pawn, takes bishop, Ferdinand resigned, Ferdinand Kramer was a strong German chess master, but he felt like he was playing against someone who was far above his league. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.